boys and girls. I thought since this week we've been learning about the planets and the stars, we could read this book. It's called Stars, Stars, Stars. And I just love the artwork in this book. Stars, Stars, Stars by Bob Barner. Stars, stars, stars. I want to see planets and stars. And if you look, he's looking through a telescope and that's something that you can use to see stars and planets closer. Bright stars twinkling above big city lights. Distant planets glowing over black country nights. Constellations that take shape when I connect them with lines. Milky Way stars shining 200 billion times. The sun that burns with golden light. Hot planet Mercury turning slowly in the night. Look, see, there's Mercury. Venus, the evening star, first planet to shine in the twilight sky. See, look, and if you often look at the sky, you can see Venus because it is one of the brighter things in the sky early in the evening. Oh, blue-green Earth with the dusty moon orbiting by. And look, this is our planet, Earth. And then there's the moon. Stormy Mars glowing in the red in the vastness of space. So there's Mars. Giant planet Jupiter moving with grace. And look at how big Jupiter is compared to Mars. It's huge. Saturn and circled by rings, Uranus spinning on its side, windy Neptune and tiny Pluto orbiting wide. So here you have Saturn with its big rings and then you have uh, Uranus and it's kind of orbits on its side so its rings actually go up and down. And then windy Neptune which is this one and then they've included tiny Pluto here because this is an older book but we don't really consider Pluto a planet anymore but we still learn about it. Shooting stars streaking tails of sparkling light. The Big Dipper holding a scoop of night. Stars, stars, stars. I want to see planets and stars tonight. So I actually want to go back and look at this one page about constellations. Constellations are groups of stars and they make pictures in the sky and all there's a lot of different constellations in our sky and they all have different names based on what they look like. So in this week's kit I've given you some star stickers to use with black paper and you can use the star stickers to make your own picture and then connect those stars with a chalk line so that you can see what kind of constellation you've made. And if you want, you can make uh, an animal, you can make a silly one like the ice cream constellation, you can make one that looks like, um, oh, look like a rabbit. There's all different things you can do, or you can do constellations that really do exist. Like this one is mentioned, the Big Dipper, because it looks like a big dipping spoon. And this is actually an easy one to find in the sky. You might be able to ask your mom and dad to help you find it. So I hope you have fun with that activity. Thanks for reading with me. Bye.